We got power steering? Yep, we finally got power steering with Dang. that belt. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2019 Ford F450 and what we're gonna do is actually jump on the interior of this truck and start removing all the airbags because I believe all of them are blown and I wanna go ahead and actually start with the roof airbags because they are putting a crease in our brand new headliner and I don't want that to stay there permanently. Luckily we've got Big Bertha in here with our garage door shut. That is crazy. The biggest vehicle we ever had in this garage. Now we don't have to stay cold so we're gonna go ahead fire up this heater jump right in here and get straight to work We just got started and believe it or not, some of this plastic is really sharp and I just went ahead and cut myself just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, fix this right up with some super glue. Can you go ahead and put it right on top of there? Hold on. Let me I don't that. know if I'd recommend this, but it may not be as... But for the working man, when they're always working, super glue. I mean, I think they use some kind of super glue in the medical field too, you know? Yeah, super glue is super fast and we're gonna get right back to it. But that's just a little tip for you guys. Be careful out yeah, there. Yeah, plastic can be really sharp. These are some tough airbags right here. Let me give it a feel. Dang, son. They're thick. Look how long it is. You could probably make a dang parachute or a parasail out that thing. You can go out in the ocean with this one right here. My dang here. buddy back in the day, man, he made one. He went soaring, dude. Far away. I remember him. <laughs> Never came back. <laughs> But anyways, we, we are just cutting these airbags out because they are getting in the way and we need a little bit more lighting in here. So let's go ahead and actually cut them all off and then we're gonna keep on going. Alrighty guys, so we finally got both of the roof airbags out and I'd say it was pretty dang easy, but we did discover a few new things, we, didn't we? Yeah, some crazy things. This thing is actually held up by magnets, dude. That's super crazy because I was pulling on this thing super hard. Felt like a clip, but it popped and it was just magnets. Yeah, those are super strong magnets. I think they're like neodymium or neodymium. I don't know how Whatever you pronounce it. Whatever you want to call it, they're powerful because they're holding up this pretty heavy headliner right here. Dude, I tell you what, you have your finger there and then a piece of metal on the other end, your finger will be gone, dude. Gone flat. But right now, we're actually going to go ahead and actually pop this sucker back in while we're waiting on airbags. Hopefully, all the creases straighten back out. So let's go ahead, throw this sucker back up there and then call it a day. Alrighty guys, so the headliner is back in and it already looks 10 times better in here. We do got a few more little creases here and there, but we're gonna give it some time while we wait on those airbags and they should all disappear. But it is super late on us. We did get an early start as usual, so we're gonna catch you guys bright and early in the morning. 
All right, so it is the next day, and before we continue removing the airbags, we just got a call from the dealership that some of our parts are here, and we also went ahead and made a list of some more parts that we need to order, so let's go ahead and head there and see what they got here at the parts department. Hopefully we got enough room and hopefully most of our parts are here. I heard like only our like hood ain't here and fenders yeah, maybe. Yeah, a few body panels are not here, but hopefully we can get the serpentine belt and that other little bearing. Yeah, that's the pump. most important thing because our batteries are completely dead and it can't charge up. So let's go ahead and run in there and see what they got. All right guys, so we got some parts here. We also ordered some more, but right now we're good. Let's go ahead and head back to the shop and get back to work. All right, so we are back with our parts. And before we show you guys what we got, we're gonna continue removing all the airbags out of this thing. And before we do that, I do wanna go ahead and mention that we got a brand new hoodie on the website. These suckers are nice and clean with the Goon Squad abbreviation there. And they're also very limited, super soft. So definitely check out goonsquad.com and cop you one. So now let's jump back into the interior here and start removing the rest of the airbags. guys so we were just getting at this airbag cover and we just found out actually that the whole entire dash has to come out just to remove this airbag cover we did a bunch of research and we pulled up a new one of these airbag covers and we're looking at the back of it for reference and a bunch of bolts are actually hidden back there and you just can't get to it from underneath here so we're gonna probably save that until we get a brand new one in that way we could take it out and immediately put it back in with it being fresh on our minds I think that's just gonna be the best way to do this because there's a lot of components here that need to come out but in the meantime, we're actually gonna go ahead and pull out that airbag there and that steering wheel. And also, what do you think about these right here? Should we, we mess might, with those? Yeah, I think we should take off the seat covers, the top part. Hopefully we can get at them and send them out as soon as possible. Yeah, that's gonna be another little difficult thing, but I think we can handle it. Alrighty boys, so if you look inside here, what do we got going on? We got a bunch of uh, support uh, hoses here. These are actually water lines right here. Yeah, because this seat actually has massaging uh, mechanisms in here. I believe it just kind of waves. It doesn't do nothing crazy. It just but... pushes up against you. But if you're wondering about like lumbar support in your vehicle, most vehicles actually have like little water bags and they fill up with water, pressurizing, just pushing your back. So if you're ever wondering how that works, it's all ran off of water, which is pretty crazy. Um, right now, they kind of like screwed us a little bit because they ran these water lines through this piece right here and i don't really want to disconnect these because it is pressurized and i don't want to lose that water because i do not know how to refill this stuff yeah so there's probably like a perfect amount of water in there so if you kind of lose some water it ain't gonna it ain't ever gonna work right but we're just trying to get this uh, skin off right yeah it's not too hard i mean we already figured out that there's a zipper right here we're probably gonna go ahead and make a slice right here it's not gonna really ruin anything because it's gonna have that uh support right there to clip onto but that's the only way we can do it without uh having to remove these water lines so let's go ahead keep messing with this seat and see if we can get this cover off So we got a fart catch catcher right here. Yep, we got a fart catcher right here. Well, this is actually an intake. So this is like a filter for an intake. It actually sucks air in from the bottom of the seat. And right here is actually a coil where it heats up the actual air so you can get have hot air, I think. So it's pretty crazy how this works. I don't know if I'm uh, right, but that's exactly what it looks like. 
So we're figuring out a bunch of this. This is crazy, man. This is probably the most technical seat I ever seen in my life, honestly. But yeah, I mean, it's got massaging uh, systems in it, so that's we're pretty cool. Massaging, heating, cooling, everything, dude. This is crazy, dude. I love that stuff. Look at that color coded and everything. But anyways, look at this. Two zippers unzipped. This thing's just a big flap, I guess. If you want to work on a seat, uh, you just unzip the zipper. So right now, we're gonna see if we can tug this thing and see if we can pull it right off. Yeah, a souvenir for you. That is legit. Hey, this is still very expensive right here. Dude, I know. I wonder if you could even order that from the dealership. Um, the dealership has been pretty helpful recently. What if we try? We might. What if it's a good deal? Yeah, we'll ask because he can put in our VIN number, maybe get this trim level, this brushed finish look here. I don't here. Even know what that is. Almost looks like it's platinum. <laughs> but we did get a tear somewhere. Where's that one tear? There's one little tear right here. Which... I know there's a few companies that can fix this and probably re replace this whole entire piece of leather there. Yeah, if we can't uh, get brand new ones or if they're way too expensive, we're probably just going to ship these out and get yeah. them repaired because that's a lot of work. We did one Lambo seat, but this is actually a tool right here, so this is probably going to have to get replaced, so we're just going to probably send it out. Do we have out. to send it off? with the new airbag they were going to sew the airbag into there or no, does the no, airbag go in no, later the airbag will probably as, as you can tell the airbag just stays right here so the airbag will just go in later we're just going to go ahead and unbolt it just two bolts and then once the new airbags in and new seat covers are on slip them right suckers Dude, on right there <laughs> this is our first time ever like taking the seat apart like this i believe like, we didn't know how to take these things off we broke some on another vehicle before. Yeah, or the, this hole is way too small and whenever you try to pull it through the little clips up top, they'll actually rip. So you don't want that to happen, but we managed to get this out in one piece and learned a lot, man. That's awesome, dude. Right, guys so finally all the airbags are out along with the seat covers as well and look at this it is actually air instead of water i just noticed that yeah, so. it's pretty cool and there's a little air compressor over there in that bag air dude. compressor in a bag look at that tiny air compressor that's, that's legit pretty man. crazy dude all these color coded wires that one of course we'll do that later yeah we'll do that once all of our airbags come in but right now we're actually going to remove one more thing and that's this seat belt right here which is actually the only seat belt that's blown in this truck that one surprisingly is not blown considering that the airbag blew up front so pretty I guess weird there was nobody in the seat when the wreck occurred but so. i was i was thinking that some cars don't blow up if nobody was sitting there but i guess that thing actually blew i don't know that's weird probably the 2019s just safety restrictions and all that good stuff but let's go ahead pop all these moldings off and get the seat belt out guys now that that seat belt is out there's one more thing that we got to ship with the seat belt and that is the srs module and on most fords it's usually located somewhere in the center console right here so let's go ahead pop a few things out and see if we can get to it
Oh, damn. right there, man. Dude, that one was a tough one. I ain't gonna lie. After all that work, that probably was the was the thing that was the most time consuming right there. Yeah, because we had to take apart a lot of the things, and we at times we really didn't know where it was located, so we were kind of aiming towards different locations. Underneath the seat, in the pillar, underneath the dash, we could not find it. Everybody kept saying underneath the center console. Yeah, because we were Googling this stuff as we were going because oh, we there's, not a, found that yeah, there's not a lot of information on this new truck, but here it is. Look at it. Here it is. And now you guys know where the airbag module is. If you ever need to locate it right underneath this center console, you do have to pop all that stuff off just so this thing can just go up by like half a foot right there. Yeah, a couple, couple inches or so there but we're gonna probably what do you think do we need to send it off to get reset or do you have to buy those new because i don't know i think i, I want to call around to see what we have to do with this because usually fords you just got to go ahead and buy a new one because you can't reset them but sometimes people can reset them so we're gonna research that but for tonight man i think we are good yeah dude that's gonna be a wrap for today because we got a huge mess we gotta do a lot of cleanup and we're also gonna go over some of these parts that we got right here that are gonna get this truck driving but as of right now we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and what we're about to do is actually pull this truck about halfway back That way we can work on the engine that damaged engine fan bearing or whatever you call it But we did kind of get freaked out this morning because the key was not getting detected We thought we might have screwed something up since we did take a lot of things apart But if you come over here, we quickly found out our issue and actually we did have something unplugged And in this center console here, there is the key detection device right under the cup holder, I believe so Quickly figure that out, plug that sucker up, and now we're gonna start it up and actually pull it halfway back. See if this sucker will fire up with no alternators running. Dude, this thing has been acting a little funny, but hopefully we can take care of that right now. Go ahead, give it a shot. Ooh, look at this. We got a whole bunch of batteries going to it. We got two extra batteries, but I guess they're dead as well. So what we're gonna do is actually pop it in neutral. We'll take these batteries away and just roll this sucker back. Let's do it. Let's roll Big Bertha here, man. She's heavy, but Ain't no match for the goon squad boys here. Look at this. She is going. That's easy. That'll work. Oh. A little bit too far. Big Bertha went down a little hill. But yeah, let's go ahead and crack one of these boxes open of that part that we need and probably start getting at it. And hopefully we can get this sucker running with the alternators, dude. Yeah, that's the goal, man. Because, I mean, one, two, three, four batteries won't get this thing started. Plus, plus the genius boost. I mean, it's supposed to be genius. It's supposed to fire the sucker up and it won't. It ain't smart enough for this truck. But anyways, let's go ahead, pop this thing back off right here. And uh, what, what box is our fan I think it's in? this little one right here. Uh, I think it's this one. Did so, I crack it open already? Yeah, we had to check it out at the dealership. That's it right there. Out here. And good thing it does come with the pulley because I was, I don't know how you change a pulley or something. I don't know, dude. That's that's crazy. I think it's just solid bearing, you know, bearing in pulley. Yeah, that's... Ours actually slipped off somehow, so it's kind of weird. But hopefully we got the right one. Oh, definitely got the right one. Perfect match. Brand new. So let's go ahead and see if we can throw this bad boy on. steering yep we finally got power steering with Dang. that belt it's gonna make it so much easier to drive and move around yes sir but we might as well since we we like to give our vehicles a wash right yep we do and this nice black right here needs to shine man Dude, we never washed this thing and we kind of want to see if there's any other extra scratches and stuff like that let's do it man let's pull it out there because now i can easily yeah. pull it out there but we, we don't want it to run too long exactly so let's do it man let's wash this big bertha right here
Nope. It's all right. We're out here in the open. We'll pull up the Denali over here, but sucks that the side step still doesn't work. We need to figure that out. I'm sure once we get the batteries all 100%, yeah. everything put back together, it'll work. But They'll probably now. slide out and then like come out, pull you, do something crazy. Oh man, I wish the seat would like just come out. You know, yeah, instead you just... of side steps, the seat slides out. What, dude? <laughs> come on, Ford, step it up. You got the massaging seats, but come on, people are getting lazy nowadays. Yeah, man, but right now, let's go ahead. Uh, hopefully, we don't uh, mess anything up over here. We no. just keep away from this area. Ford build it tough, so yep. we just try to just get the body. We're gonna try to avoid the back in there. Have to remove a few things out the bed there as well. Let's go ahead and shine her up. Let's do it. This sucker cleaned up, man. Check out that black, dude. Dang, dude. Super nice. No squirrels, I'm surprised. I mean, there is a few scratches from the accident. Like, you can tell that's pretty weird. We're just look wearing at that. tear from sitting at the auction probably, yeah, too. But, dude, look at the reflection on it dude. on black paint from the dealership. That's surprising, dude. That's crazy. But it does have some orange peel, you can tell. But, you know, that's just how factory paint is. I mean, it gives it a little bit more durability, especially if you're on the road all the time with this truck. But, dude, should be pretty easy to match up this uh, uh, orange pill <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> but there is a little bit of metallics let me see if you can tell yeah, probably on right this little pillar sun. right here you see that so i don't know how we're gonna blend it shouldn't be too hard we're basically just gonna paint the front end and and i don't know maybe the doors too yeah might as well blend onto the doors because there is some damage the doors here. are actually not bent surprisingly i thought this edge was actually bent in but it's just scratched up so that's a good sign right there so we're gonna probably blend two doors and we did notice another thing on this side over here as well you see this little scratch right here or a little Ooh. oh divot i was opening the door just to see what it came from but as you can tell see it striking there dude. striking very closely and then the door is a little bit yeah as you can tell it was hit on this side and if you can tell by that bolt it actually moved Ooh, yeah just a little bit yeah, you can tell a lot of times by the bolt, so it kind of went out of place by a couple millimeters, yeah, right? A couple millimeters, we'll be able to put that back together, uh, which means that, I don't know, should we paint all the way we up might to this just door? Touch or should that we up, do maybe. a little touch, a little up, touch up there. It's not too like deep in, it's actually like right on the clear coat, so that's pretty crazy. But this thing came out perfect, dude. I can't wait to put the whole entire truck together and get this thing looking sick. But guys, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this 2019 Ford F450 rebuild, and make sure your post notification are on so you don't miss out on anything and you watch this beast come to life also guys be sure to follow us on instagram where you can get inside scoop there before youtube and if you want to help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy one of these brand new hoodies they're very limited and also if you want to get you a christmas gift this is the perfect time to do so so with that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace